This video taken from a witness on East 152nd Street is making its rounds on social media. It begins with what appears to be East Cleveland officers chasing a man on a dirt bike. After the man falls, he attempts to get back up. Go! What are you doing? Get the f out of there! But then you can see a police cruiser knock the bike and the man back down. Oh! The officer then gets out of his car and along with two other officers appear to hit the man multiple times for around seven seconds. They beat his ass, bro. We asked East Cleveland Police Chief Scott Gardner if he had seen this video. He said he had and says while it may not look good to the outsider, he says body camera footage he also combed through paints a different picture. It doesn't appear uh, that any type of use of force was abused in this case uh, initially. That I'm seeing. Gardner says police attempted to pull the man over several times for reckless driving and began pursuing him when he didn't comply, which you can see on body cam footage that the department released on Facebook Wednesday evening in a post defending the officer's actions. He says the cruiser that you see hitting the man's bike is a police technique to stop a subject from fleeing. He was a on grass, so the officers felt that it was in the best uh, moment to use that technique because, I mean, obviously, if, if it's going to push the bike down, it's going to push it down on the grass. And he says what the witness video doesn't show clearly is the man still trying to run from police after the fall, saying that's why police began striking him. Your hands are bald and you're essentially making a punch, a strike, uh, but you're doing it in strategic locations. You're doing it to major uh, muscle groups and attempts to to gain control of, of the party's arms or legs. He says after the arrest, the man was not hurt. And officers clearly and they asked him, hey, are you okay? You need medical attention. He indicated he did not. You okay? You what you running for? Dog. I ain't running. We took the video to a third party police and security expert, Tim Dimoff. He too says it appears the police used proper training when arresting this man. That is not uncommon uh, in order to gain control of a subject and uh, if you notice, when they did finally get control, they stopped. They did not continue to strike him. They did not strike his neck or head area. And immediately when they got the cuffs on him, they stopped.